pretty much to do. So I'm I work at the I work for National Institute of News for New York or Mini for short. I am about to test. I'm about to talk to two types of of testers. One is drugs, and two is cosmetics. So let's go in. Shall we? Oh, what is your name? Oh, hello. My name is Dr. Rama 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 Krishnan. What do you do here? Um, I'm a uh, scientist, and I work uh, to with uh, um, new drugs that uh, we test on um, uh, in our laboratory, and we do these tests in order to make sure that these drugs are safe. We try to bring out new drugs to market to. Uh, help cure diseases and make the world a better place. Can I have the tour of the lab? Sure, let's go in. So here we are in the lab, and uh, over uh, here, where's Dr. Oh, there's Dr. Mamakuti. Uh, I'm not sure why he's, he, he's a very eccentric. He likes to um, stand on top of the table while he's doing his thinking. Um, Anyway, um, over here at uh, this lab bench, we have some new drugs that we're working on. This is for a disease called trachomycolosis, which is a disease of the liver growing out through the toenails. Um, and we're testing some new uh, drugs here that will uh, cure this disease. Um, how do you test the drug? Uh, well, we do lots of um, scientific um testing just on the bench here with uh, different formulations to uh, compare things and we uh, run it through various machines to examine how it'll work. Uh, but at the end we um, always have to do some testing on some animals and over here you'll see, um, isn't it cute, his ears come right through the table. Uh, if you could look underneath here in this cage, is there a way to you can crouch down and have a look? There you go, you'll see there's uh, a rabbit in there. Um, that's uh, Fluffy, and then over here is Fufu, and as soon as we're ready, um, we'll take Fluffy and uh, put her up on the table and put some of the new drug inside her and see if it uh, cures her disease of the liver coming out through her toenail. Do you find that you're being cruel to it? Well, it's, it is sort of sad. Um, we try to take very good care of Fluffy well, she's, um, uh, uh, before she does the experiment, but in the experiment, yes, it's very likely that she could get sick and she might even die at the end. And what do other people think? Well, some people think that, uh, that uh, this isn't uh, very fair and nice to the animals, but we do try to remind people that uh, um, drug mystics that we work for has saved a lot of lives over the years, and we... Um, believe that uh, while it's a bit sad what happens to the animals, it can be a lot sad. It's better for everybody if we have new drugs to make the world a better place. Thank you. A drug tester. Now I will interview a, a cosmetic tester. Let's go. Hello, what is your name? Hi, my name is Dr. Yavadava Gravadava Krishna Apple. What do you do here? Well, here we make very exciting new cosmetics that help people feel beautiful and, and, and lovely and gorgeous. Can I have a tour of the lab? Sure, I'd love to show you our lab. Come on in. In here we have our chief scientist, Dr. Mankel Mankel, and over here we have our uh, our table where we do all our tests. We are testing some new lipstick today, which is designed to make your lips color plaid, not just green or blue or purple, but actually plaid. We're very excited about this new breakthrough in cosmetics. How do you... Uh... 
How do you test the cosmetics? Well, we uh, use um, uh, mannequins and we put it on balloons and then just to make sure that it's 100% safe because we want everybody to love our products, we'll try it out on our little fluffy bunnies over here. This one is named Hector and the other one is named Lucy. Mm. Do you find it cruel to animals? Oh, well, uh, Hector and Lucy have really good lives and yeah, they might get hurt a little bit, but it's, it's so that people can feel all beautiful. What do other people think? Oh, well, people love buying our products. Sometimes some really mean and negative people come in and they complain, but they don't realize just how beautiful everybody gets to feel about it, and nobody thinks twice about eating an animal. Why don't you test using alternatives? Oh, well, we want to be the most safe possible, and how could we ever be really sure it was safe if we weren't testing on something like a human being? I don't think it's possible. What's wrong with using computers? Well, um, well, um, well, uh, we could try that, um, but, but we've always used animals. Mm, what's wrong with using tissues and glassware? Oh, well, um, uh, well, uh, well, we could, we could, well, we could try, but it's, you know, it's not the same as using an animal. Animals, we know for sure. What's wrong with using ingredients that you have already uh, tested as safe? Oh, well, but then we wouldn't have plaid lipstick. We'd only have the other kinds of lipstick, and they're, they're, they're boring. Everybody wants plaid lipstick. Everybody needs plaid lipstick. Thank you for the interview. Well, there you have it. In this reporter's opinion, animal drug testing is acceptable because it saves human lives. But animal cosmetic testing is not because it does not save human lives. It only alters the appearance of the human. And there are many alternatives to cosmetic animal testing.